Hey guys, we are in Ashland City, Tennessee today. As some of you know, we uh, are spending most of the winter uh, in Tennessee to help family. And so that's one advantage of having a home base. But we came across a 60 degree day today. In January. In January, <laughs> after a two week cold spell. Of, I mean, what did it get down to? Yeah, negative, <laughs> too cold, too cold. Yes. With you know, snow. Right at zero, so with snow. So we are happy to have this 60 degree weather. And we wanted to get out and get on our e-bikes and come, and we've always wanted to come to Ashland City because they've got a great bike trail and more on that in just a minute. So while here in Ashland City, we thought we'd show you the city and then we'll show you some of the walking trails and make it to that bike trail and maybe find somewhere to eat. Yeah, and just so you know a little bit about Ashland City, Ashland City is a very small town has a population of about 5,200 people, which isn't a lot at all. Also, if you're wanting that really cute, quaint downtown look that we, we have in a lot of our small town videos, don't go to Ashland City. You're not gonna find it here. Uh, the only thing they really have in their downtown that's kind of cool is a historical uh, courthouse, yeah, which uh, we'll pop a little video of that in here. Yeah, most of the businesses and hotels and all that have moved east more towards nashville so it is growing uh, in, in that respect but it's not known for downtown shopping it's more okay. known for getting out and exploring the nature because it's right on the cumberland river which mm -hmm. weaves its way through the town and through tennessee yeah so all the activities to do in this town they have concentrated and put their efforts into the outdoor activities Pretty outdoor cool. things also ashland city is only about 30 minutes from downtown nashville so if you're looking to save a little on your campground fees while you're staying around nashville and exploring nashville ashland city might be a good alternative yeah a lot of campgrounds here we'll show you some of that and we just want to show you around ashland city let's go whispers in my head what you gonna do so take it kiddo So we're here at the Cheatham County Courthouse that was built in 1869. It's a really old, old building. Uh, it seems to me that they've added on to it over the years. If you look, hopefully you can see there's a difference in the brick and the um, I think they've added on to it probably at least twice because it goes from the old brick to red and then over here is a completely different style. So it's just a cool old building. So we're at River Bluff Park. It's right on the Cumberland River. Now the Cumberland River starts up above Nashville, but you can actually get on a cruise ship in Nashville and come all the way down and I don't know where it ends, but it, it stops and goes all the way down to the Mississippi, Danny says, but it stops in Clarksville on our riverside. So it's, it's just pretty cool that you can, you know, go as far as you want on this river. And it comes right here. Pretty big.
Now, if you ever anywhere near Ashland City, you need to stop by the Riverview restaurant. It's here in the marina, and it is well known for great catfish and so much more. Let's go check it out. Wish that I could stay in this It's a southern thing, but I just love fried okra. It's so yummy. I will carry you on my shoulders as long. What'd you think? Oh, great catfish. Mine was good. Yeah, mine was really good. We both completely cleaned our plates. We so did good. <laughs> we'll give it a five star for that. I even helped her with a couple pieces of okra. That yeah. was real good too. The okra was really good. It was. Um, it's got great atmosphere, you know, right here on the Cumberland River. You can see behind us. So you sit in the windows and you got a great view. Just a really cool place to come and have lunch or dinner one yeah check it out right here at the restaurant is also riverview rv park it's a small park uh it looks like there's got quite a bit of water in it right now uh potholes and such but uh, we've not stayed here but there's a lot of campgrounds up and down this cumberland that you can stay and as said before and make it into nashville and check that out so we just want to show you around a little bit all I need Until my heart gives in I will do everything I can For you So we've made it to the Cumberland River Bicentennial Trail. It's 13 miles out and 13 miles back, but I think it's paved most of the way. We're about to get started on the bikes. About to find out. Now, uh, as some of you seen, I've had hip surgery this fall. Um, I wasn't able to do a lot of, well, I did a lot of hiking last summer, but we could not bring the bikes because my hips. Yeah, we didn't even bring them because we knew yeah. you couldn't ride them. So this is my maiden voyage after hip surgery. And um, I've been looking forward to this. We're glad we had yeah. a, a nice day here. To do it. Yes. Super excited. So we're having the same trouble we always have at the beginning of every bike ride. We have issues remembering how to sync our helmets so that we can talk to each other. I think he's about got it figured out.
So as you can see, we had an amazing day in Ashland City. Yep, we really, really enjoyed the bike ride. My hip gave me no trouble at all, mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to many, many more trips on that e-bike. Yeah, this was our first time out since he had his hip replacement, so we didn't exactly know how he would do, but he did great. Now, the whole trail, if you take the bike ride, it goes from Ashland City all the way to Lock A Campground. Uh, it's 13 miles one way, so if you do the loop, it's 26 miles. We only did a little over 10 miles today, we ran out of daylight. Yep. Should have started <laughs> Note earlier. Note to self, go earlier. Yeah, we we're just trying to see the whole town of Ashland City. And uh, I wanted to say thanks, Ashland City, <laughs> especially for the outdoor areas that you have. Yeah. There's a lot of beautiful outdoor areas in Ashland City. So we really like the outdoors. Yeah, so we, we did. really liked Ashland City. And we liked the catfish. Oh, yes. That was really good. Yeah. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.